Okay, so now we have type error, unsupported operands type for sub string and number. So I'm sure a lot of people have actually seen this one before. And basically we're looking at it and we're saying, well, we have a string and a number. So chance star number here is actually a string. So where does number come from? Well, it comes from up here, named a number name. So let's go up to the named a number function and see what's going on. Hey, okay, named a number function. We send in rock because that was our first test case. And we're sending back, oh, we're sending back a string here instead of a number. That should just be zero and not have quotes around it. Okay. Now we got, oh, now we have something different. We actually got some output from our game here, so we are running. But now we have error local variable number referenced before assignment. Okay, what's going on here? So we have number. Well, we had number up here and it worked fine. Well, again, here we were doing an assignment. Here we're trying to do a comparison, which is not what we want. So let's take out an equal sign. And we'll continue on. Error local variable name reference before assignment. Well, that's pretty much the same thing we just had a minute ago. And we'll look at it, and sure enough, we got our double equals again. So we'll take one of them out. Now what do we got? Bad number sent to name. We have a message come out. And then we have error local variable name reference before assignment. Okay. So we have name. We have name up here. We have name here, we have name in a few spots, but they get only get set in these if else if blocks. And if we look where we have printed bad number sent to number name, which is this statement here. But nowhere is in this block do we actually set name to anything. So let's take out this comment here. So name will be set to something. We're just gonna set it to blank, this for error checking, which we'll get to in a bit. And continue on. Now we have local variable number reference before assignment. Well, this is basically the same thing. We see here bad name sent to name to number. And again, we're trying to do number in the else case, but we didn't set number to anything. So we'll set number equals to negative one to indicate an error, because that's a very common thing to do. Okay, now we have name error, name Spock is not defined. So this is similar to the name error we had before where it's trying to look for a variable named Spock and it can't find it defined to do anything. And of course if we look here again we're supposed to have a string and not a variable. Okay, continuing on. Oh, it looks like we're good. We have bad numbers and the name but then we have computer chooses nothing. Okay, that's a little weird. Uh, Spock and paper, player wins. Player's not supposed to win here. Um, rock and paper, player wins. Well, that's right. Um, lizards and scissors, that's right. Or no, that one's not right. Uh, rock and scissors, that one's actually right. So we have some problem with figuring out which one is right and which one is wrong. So let's go down to our logic on that. And here's the start of our logic on that here. Difference equals number minus comp number mod 5. Well, that looks right for the most part. But the problem here is we're doing the mod on comp number first instead of doing the number minus comp number and then modding it. So what we need to do is we need to put in brackets here. Okay, so we have brackets in. That should help. Let's run it again. Okay, scissors and rock. Rock beats scissors, that's good. Spock and scissors. Spock beats scissors. Okay. Paper beats rock. Lizard beats Spock. Scissors and scissors. Player wins. Yeah, that's not right. And we got some bad stuff down here. We'll just ignore that for now fix that error later. We'll do it again. Uh, rock and lizard. Spock and lizard. P 
paper and lizard, rock and lizard, Spock and scissors. Well, that looks mostly right. We'll try it one more time. Lizard and lizard, player wins. Hmm, that one's definitely not right. Okay, what's going on here? So we fixed this line. So now we'll look down here. If difference less than two, winner equals computer, that's fine. Else if difference equals one or two, winner equals player. And then winner equals tie. So our tie isn't working. And that's because here, this one's always going to evaluate to true because we haven't put in right. Because it should be difference equals equals two. And that will make our ties work right. And we don't have a tie on that one, so we'll try it again. There we go, paper and paper. Player and computer tie. So that one is right now. Okay, and instead of doing difference equals equals one or difference equals equals two, we can do it the same way we did up here. And we'll just do greater than zero. And we'll run that again, make sure it's fine. Mm, other than the bad inputs, we're looking good. Make sure our tie is still good. Yeah, our tie is still good. Okay. So that's good. Everything seems to be working now, except for maybe this bad name, bad input stuff. So what we got here? Bad name sent to name to number. Player chooses laser and player computer chooses scissors. Player and computer tie. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. Same thing up here, this one says computer chooses, only this is number sent to name, that's a different error. And they tie. Okay. So that's a bit weird. So basically what we're doing here is we're sending we're printing a message saying that it's bad and sending back indications that we did have bad problems. But nowhere do we do anything with it after we get back, so the computer just looks at it and says, well, I guess I'll try to figure out who won. And it goes through logic and this is what it comes up with. So let's fix that. So our first one here is we call number equals name to number name. So in name to number name, we're actually sending back negative one if there's an error. So let's put in some extra code here. If number equals negative one return. We don't want to do anything. We don't want to process it any further. It's an error. We'll just say there's an error and we'll continue. One other thing I'll probably do actually as well. Well, we'll look. We'll just run that for now and see what happens. Oh, we have a problem. Again, that's the equals problem, so we need equals to equals. Okay, so that looked pretty good so far. Bad name sent to num name to number. That's good. Mm. The bad name is still down here. Bad numbers up here. So let's fix the bad to number one now. On the number one, we're sending back a empty string. Now, where do we call that? We call that right here, number to name. So again, we'll do the same thing here. If comp name equals equals a blank string return. Okay. Yeah, we'll play it a few times, so we have bad number, bad name. Well, we don't have spaces there, so maybe we should put in spaces. A blank line, sorry. So we'll just put in a print statement. Bad name is the number, bad number, bad number, bad name. We got spaces. Everything seems to be looking, it looks good. Oh okay, yeah, our program runs good, everything's working, we're done. Well, no, we're not quite done. There's some things here that we should clean up. We could take these functions out because we're not using them, but 
we'll just say that we're going to use them later and we'll leave them there for now. Some other issues here though is right here we have number equals equals zero. We should really have spaces around that to space it out and make it look better. So let's go through and put spaces around it. Okay, that looks like everything. It looks a lot better, much easier to read, to understand what's going on. Okay, anything else we want to do here? We look through from the top. This all looks good. Okay. Well, you may be looking at this and saying, well, this stuff's only ended into this much, and this stuff is ended into a whole lot more. Why doesn't Python find an error here? I thought everything was supposed to be indented the same amount. Well, it is as long as it's in the same block where this else if block is a separate block from these other blocks then it doesn't necessarily have to be in the same amount just something in the same block has to be in the same amount but that just looks ugly so let's bring that back to be lined up the same way and make it much easier to understand what's going on so we'll keep quickly go through the rest of the code here look to see everything else looks good, easy to read. Yeah, everything else looks good. I'm going to run the program one last time, make sure it works good. We got our ties, we got things working in the right order here by the looks of it. The right players are winning. We have our errors of being outputted properly in different spots. We got blank lines in between things. We're good. Oh yeah, I guess that's it for now. Hopefully this has helped you figure out errors and you'll be much better at fixing your code. Thank you.